Hello everybody and welcome to Crafters TV. Whoa! Look at the look at the shirt. Seriously, yes, come on. Uh, we've gone all Hawaii on you uh, this afternoon for good reason. Uh, very shortly indeed, you will find out. Yes, Johnny. Do 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 do. Uh, welcome to the uh, Craft Along award-winning show, sandwiched in between all of the chaos today. That is our um, craft uh, cartload, I should say. Um, wow, 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 it is going to be a busy day today. Check out all the deals on the website. Uh, but we've got the serenity of a craft along right now uh, where you can sit back, kick back and relax with us um, and uh, craft along in real time on our award winning show, uh, no less, where you guys at home can craft along. We've got a very special guest to introduce you to in just a little while uh, who's going to craft along live with us. But the whole point here is, is if you've got the items that we've got on this show, then you can craft along live right now. You can watch this show back later on um, and craft uh, to your heart's content later or if you decide that you love the uh, floral frame cut and embossed folders that we've got on the show and you don't really have them you can pick them up bookmark the show come back to it and craft along at a later date that's why this show is award-winning and why you absolutely love it now um, as I said we've gone uh, very Hawaii uh, themed to cool down because it has been hacked in the studio hacked hacked in the studio so we've we've put the hawaiian shirts on uh, 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 and we are ready to go uh, and one guy who needed to cool down after the last show whew, uh, is me uh, crafty partner in crime who's going to be leading uh, this craft along also giving it the old wah, 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 wah. it is the one and only mr craig laird look at the shirt man yes I know. it's been a smoking hot morning already I had to take that little bit of time towards the end of wake up call just to stand out for a bit of fresh air uh, no seriously and you Thanks found yourself a very jazzy shirt in the uh, meantime indeed. yeah i did indeed yes gone for that hawaiian shirt ready for of course this craft along as well which is all about the floral cut and emboss frames as you were saying ben now when it comes to this one here if you've seen wake up call before i took a bit of time off to get some fresh air you will have noticed or you'll have heard me say i didn't actually do this one no you I'm didn't not taking credit for okay. this one because uh, our linda fitzsimmons she actually done this one for me and she'd done that so that i could have an extra couple of days back home in scotland you know if it uh, wasn't the case i would have to come back a little bit earlier to get all this prepped and ready so she very kindly done it for me so you can then be following along with me we were going to replicate what linda has done for myself and all of you at home now yes we popped it into a box frame that i had uh, asked for however you can absolutely go on the front of a seven by seven card if you want to or maybe pop it into a box frame later on but we'll step you through it's up to you card blank box frame but this is what we're going to be making when it comes to the craft along i absolutely love it it's going to be amazing and like i said if you've already if you've if you've already got uh, these amazing <laughs> cut and boss, what's going on today? It's the heat. If you've already got these, you can craft along with us. Uh, if you haven't, you can pick them up on the show today and I'll take you through uh, all of these cut and emboss folders. Uh, let us say a few hellos, then we'll go through the recipe guide for you as well because you're going to need to know what you are uh, crafting with. Uh, Samantha joins us from Brooklyn, New York. Hope Craig is feeling better. He is. Uh, Sheila Hill is in from St. Petersburg, Florida. Hello. Hello. Uh, Betsy Throop says, good morning uh, from Houston, Texas. Excited to see my friend Curran on the craft along. That's Betsy. That is. Uh, Barbara R is in from Indiana. Uh, Sarah Brown says, hello, hello, hello. Uh, I'm back for the show. I can't wait to see Ben's shirt and Craig's. I mean, he's, which is your fave? This shirt, by the way, um, I bought this um, in, this is an official, I think, Hawaii shirt. I bought this in, where did we go? Oahu. And when I used to do like the kids parties back mm -hmm. in the day, that was my get up. I always used to wear like the Hawaiian shirts and do all the magic and stuff. And this okay. was one of those shirts. I used to fill this out back in the day. You've slimmed down. Anyway, uh, Sarah Brown says, what was that? What was that? Uh, <laughs> Uh, she says, love the shirts, uh, but also lovely to see Corinne. Uh, aloha, everyone. Sending hugs from Melbourne, Australia. Good day, mate. Uh, we are international today, aren't we? Wow. Uh, Lynn, the hashtag go live granny says, good afternoon. I'm only here for part of the show as I have a visitor coming this afternoon, mm. but I will catch the replay. Is it, uh, is it someone from the TV, like TV land giving you a, a big star and role after all of your TV appearances now, Lynn? Maybe it's the one show. Maybe it is. I bet it is. Uh, Alicia says, Ben and Craig are looking great with the shirts. Uh, and Alicia says, is it just me or does Craig's shirt 
Does Craig's shirt match the frame? It, it, it does match the frame a little bit, actually. That's, it's all, you just think we just, it's all planned. We, mm -hmm. we spend hours and hours coming up with the outfits and the, 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 the craft along. So yeah, thank you for noticing that. Uh, talking about the craft along though, let us have a look with Craig as to what you're gonna need over the course of the next two hours. Absolutely, yeah. So the additional items you're gonna need to start with are your meta metallic paint markers. This is your liquid gold, your quick dry jet black, your blush pastel plaid 12 by 12 paper pad. You're gonna need delightful daisies, A4 card stock, the linen, bohemian A4 linen card, your A4 luxury card stock in the gold, Gold, multi-purpose card, craft card, ribbon, glitter, and your Gemini die-cutting machine as well. And then when it comes to the actual project itself, you're going to be needing your striking gerbils, cutting emboss folder. <laughs> yes, Craig. You're going to need your topaz ornate nesting dies. That's just for the little corner, so that's the relatively new one. So it's just the corner die we want. Stitched circle nesting dies. We're going to need our once upon a time. I, every day is a fairy tale stamp set. Now, when it comes to your tri blend, you know I love my tri blend. So, citrus blend, dull green blend, gold yellow blend, ice grey blend. You're going to need your magenta and also you need your pale pink shades as well. And then your additional items, all of your core tools to get, and you'll probably have it beside you anyway. Guillotine, stamping platform, craft knife, cutting mat, pokey tool, scissors, tape pen, tacky glue, foam tape and a box frame, approximately eight and a half by eight and a half, should you choose to use the box frame to go with your project as well. What I would say is, you may want to use your craft knife and ruler that was said there, I will probably use my V-blade paper trimmer, but either or, I'll, stop, I'll uh, talk you through what we're gonna do with that one. Excellent stuff. Give you a few moments to get all of those bits and pieces together. Like we said, if you want to pick up the deal, it is on the show. 40% off uh, the um, cutting and boss folders, so you can grab those. Give you all the details as we head through the show. And as always, uh, if you are crafting along with us, let us know in the comments because A, we want to make sure that you get the very best from this. If you get a little bit stuck, uh, you can obviously stick your hand up, give us a wave, and we can repeat or reshow. Uh, but B, we love to see your pictures at the end of the show as well. So if you are crafting along, let us know uh, so that we can see your pictures uh, but the most important person aside from Craig obviously leading the craft along um, is always our guest and do you know what more often than not now we have um, a guest with us on the craft along which is brilliant because it saves me doing it you know what happens when that happens it goes on for about three hours because I get behind uh, but today we are well I'm really excited because I've only ever been to Hawaii once um, on me honeymoon and I'm going back there now I mean I wish I really was going back there can you imagine? But we're going to go over there uh, to meet our lovely guest who is uh, with us at stupid o'clock in the morning. It is the wonderful Curran. How are you? I'm doing well, Ben. Thank you. And good morning and aloha. <laughs> Al aloha. So you're in, I guess from your t-shirt, Maui? Maui. Yeah. Uh, what time is it there? Yes. It's uh, about 3.15 in the morning. <sighs> So did you, did you stay up or did you uh, go to bed and set an alarm? How did it work? I stayed up, but the hubby took a nap. Ah, oh, hubby's taking a bit of a nap. We'll, we'll say hello to him in just, uh, in, in just a second. Um, I know it's obviously three in the morning there now, but what's the, what's the forecast in, in Maui for today? Lots of sunshine, I bet. Probably again, 85. 85. That is, that's about, that's late 20s, I think that, isn't it? Late 20s, 30. Have you always been um, um, Hawaiian or did you, is it somewhere that you, that you moved? I'm actually from the mainland in Washington State, but my husband has lived here for 25 years. Amazing. Previously I... in Washington, and when he came back on vacation, we met back up after 37 years being apart. And he asked me to marry him, and I said yes, and I moved here, and we got married. <laughs> oh, you guys. And I, I know as well, because we could just see his uh, left arm there in shot. He, he's with you. Is it Ron? He's, he's right here. <laughs> Ron, give us a wave. Yay. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> uh, aloha. Uh, good to meet you. I hear, um, uh, Ron, as well, you were a bit of a, bit of a whiz on the ukulele. Just say yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, you can't hear me. <laughs> he can't I, hear you. I could be saying anything, I couldn't I? can hear you, but he can't. Um, is, is, at some point, because we're going to be doing a lot of colouring, just ask Ron, is he up for maybe playing us a little tune uh, at some point during the craft, as long as a bit of instrumental music? 
You can play music during the coloring parts. Oh, absolutely. Nice one. He's going to do it. Um, I don't know if you told him, but we spoke before the show. I, I literally, ukulele is not one of my best instruments. I know about four chords. So uh, if, he, if he plays a C, F or G, I'll join him. But anything else, I'm out, you know. <laughs> he can do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay. We'll think of a song. We'll wait for uh, wait for some musical accompaniment later on. Uh, looking forward to that. Is this your is this your second craft along with us, isn't it? Yes, my second. Yeah, and you're obviously enjoying doing them. Yes, they're a lot of fun. Yeah, and how long have you been crafting for? Oh my gosh, for probably 20, 30 years. Oh wow! So you will ace this today, then I'm sure. Let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, it's lovely to have you and Ron here. We will keep coming back to you. If you get stuck at any point, just give us a little bit of a wave. And then um, when we need a bit of like musical accompaniment, uh, I'll give you a little bit of a wave as well. We can set Ron off on the, on the uke. All right. <laughs> Brilliant. Perfect. Right, let's get cracking. Uh, it's going to be so much fun, this. I cannot wait uh, to get cracking, to see what Curran makes and to hear Ron on the old uh, ukulele as well. Did you bring a musical instrument to play or...? Uh, no, no, because I can't play any. Uh, could have got you a kazoo or something. Or didn't you used to, ever used to do the the blade of grass when you were younger? <laughs> no, I was never good at that. Uh. And we had a lot of uh, like kind of like reefs and that in Scotland down at the beach. Mm. You know, the big, long stern ones. Mm. But no. But tell you craft, and we'll you'll sing. Uh, well, I, well, I won't sing. Ron will play. Come on, will craft, and I'll just do my. Oh, I'll do my. Well, I've got my ukulele down here, but as I say, I only know about four chords. I'll try and play along with. Ron, I'm sure he's probably only a little bit better than me. Right, let us uh, let us get going with the. Uh, the I d Ben no, does. No, I, I, no, I don't play the trombone. Do you, do you play? Do you? No, I don't. I do. I d do it. Oh, uh, okay. I do the air do trombone. It. Do it. Do it. <sighs> That's it now. That's it. That's all. Uh, air trombone. Let's move on swiftly. I'm getting embarrassed. I'm really, really hot. It's, so, do you know something? It's still hot in here. Are you wishing you hadn't worn your T-shirt? I'm so, wishing I'd just worn the shirt and not I'm the T-shirt. I'm wishing I'd just worn the shirt, but it's, you could spit peas through it, so I had to have a T-shirt underneath. Ah, OK. <laughs> Let's get cracking, because we're 15 minutes in. We're never going to finish this. Craig, where are we starting, please? Let's get the details up on the screen of the um, goodies that you can buy after the show. You can get these individually, should you wish. I'll take you through the boards in just a bit, but I feel like we should uh, get cracking uh, and get going. Craig, over to you, sir. Right, Tio. Let's go on. Let's start with our guillotine. We'll start with the mats and layers, first of all, before we do the cutting emboss and the colouring. So we're going to take a piece of that white linen cardstock that is from your cardstock bundle. I said in that list and then what I'm going to do within this one is I'm going to cut it to eight and a quarter inches by eight and a quarter inches now of course if you're using the A4 then that is pretty much once you turn it round it pretty much is eight and a quarter I'm just going to give that very light trim there just with that little bit to make sure it's exactly eight and a quarter now I am following the instructions that Linda very very kindly wrote out for me which I also posted on my Facebook earlier on so that's where you're going to find them and then as I say I am going to follow exactly what Linda done so what we're going to do is we're going to gut out the center of your cardstock we're going to do that a couple of times because it's a good way to save on cardstock you know you pay uh, your pennies on cardstock etc etc and you want to save as much as you can mm -hmm. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go I'm going to use my V blade paper trimmer this is why also on the list it said you could use your ruler and a craft knife if you want to if you are using your V blade paper trimmer what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to that one inch line and then what I'm going to do, I'm not going to close this completely down at the moment, but then what I'm going to do is right at the top on my arm, it says zero. So therefore, I'm going to lift that up and then where I've got one inch, I'm just going to close that. Then I'm going to come down to seven and three quarters here, because remember, or seven and a quarter, because we're at eight and a quarter. And then I'm just going to lift and I'm going to turn that one around. That one can once again go up to that one inch mark. I'm then going to lift that one all the way up and then I'm going to pull down again to seven and a quarter. And I know it's seven and a quarter because it tallies side by side with my blade. We can turn that one around 
and then I'm going to travel that back up. I always like to pull down when it comes to my paper trimmer, but mm -hmm. you can go either way. And then turn that one around, lift that one up, and then pull down. Now that's going to give me my one inch frame all the way around. Now this isn't going to act as a frame, this is just so that I'm not wasting my linen cardstock. So we've got our first layer here. I'm just going to set that to the side just now because we're going to need it in a minute. So once again, that was eight and a quarter inches by eight and a quarter. And then I've gone in and I've got it out an uh, inch in all the way round. So set that to the side. Let's go in now with our pink linen cardstock. And then for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to cut that to eight inches by eight inches. And then to save on our cardstock, we're going to gut that one again. But what we will be doing is what we take out of here, we will be using just shortly. So let's bring that one in. This time, what I'll do, just so you can see both ways being done, I am just grabbing my craft knife here. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to your ruler, so I'm just going to line this one up. So the full grids, so from the edge of your ruler up to that first grid line there, that is actually one inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in, so I'm going to come up to the edge, well, I'm going to come that way. So I'm going to do that main line here, where I've got just under the numbers. I'm going to come along, and I'm going to put that right up against the edge, making sure that my metal edge is to that inside. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold that one down, and then I'm just going to roughly eyeball that by an inch in, although I already know that an inch is five squares in. So I'm just going to come down. So whether it is your paper trimmer, whether it's your craft knife, maybe you're going to use nesting dies, or maybe you're just going to roughly cut it. It's entirely up to you, but it's a nice way to save on cardstock. And then, as you'll see, we'll actually use this on one of our additional layers just shortly. Mm -hmm. So we can then work that one all the way around. So the simple layers to start with. So let's move that one out the way for now. So that was, once again, eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And then we've just got in that centre there, we've just done it for a one inch frame. And then that one there was eight inches by eight inches. And then we've done the same, we've just got at an inch all the way round. So I can set that one out the way for now, because that will eventually become our back layer. Let's bring in our plaid pad. I've you already lad. got the loose sheet good to go. Nice. All the P's and all the S's together. And this one, because you know what I'm like, you're going to cut at an additional quarter of an inch lower. So let's go in at seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. So we can see that's now given us our layer. If I bring this one back in that will mat and layer just shortly, you'll see no one is going to know. And because I'm putting it into a frame and we're going to put our layer of our cut and emboss on top, you're not going to lose any of that stability whatsoever. It's going to then form that stability and you're not going to know yeah. that you have taken out some of your layers and then you're able to use that elsewhere. So let's set that one to the side for now. And then what we're going to do, and I've put craft card there, and Linda was saying to me, it's just to also, talk, funny enough, talking about stabilising it, it is just to stabilise that back. You've taken something out, so we're just going to replace it with an additional layer at the back. You're not going to see the craft layer, and you'll see what I mean just shortly. So this one, what we're going to do, is we're going to go back to eight and a quarter, by eight and a quarter. That's because that's the size of my frame. So if I then bring that one into place here, what we're then going to do is let's bring these layers in that we've just done. So we've gone in, of course, with our white. We've gone in with our pink, and then we've also gone in with our plaid. Uh -huh. So we're going to layer, we're going to use our glue or your tape runner, and we're going to layer all these together and then onto this one here. Okay. So I'm going to go in with my tape runner. Now, this is how it'll look. Once I've layered them together, this is, it'll look like that. And then this is what I was meaning a moment ago, Ben. You're not going to see the craft card. 
because the white in the craft is cut to eight and a quarter, yeah. you're not seeing the craft card, it's just to create stability. stability yeah. You could do it with black, you could do it with another layer of white if you want to, that's up to you, it's just we've gone for the craft so it's going to sit on the back. And then for this moment in time, Ben, I'm just going to mat and layer these together with my tape runner. Excellent. Uh, lots of love for the plaid pads coming in, by the way. Cheryl Alt says, love, love, love the plaid pads. Uh, <laughs> I don't know this comment. Syl says, how intriguing. Curious minds need to know why Craig spits peas through his shorts. <laughs> what does that mean? It, it's, a, it's a saying. Maybe, is it a Scottish saying? I don't it, know. Did, have you said that, have you? Yeah, you could spit peas through it. Oh. It's meaning something is that thin, the material is that thin, that you can see through the fibres, you could spit peas through it. Oh, OK. That yeah. is, that's definitely a Scottish... You think that must be a Scottish, Scottish thing. phrase. I, I did like wonder, it, because when, we, when I'd said what I'd said and went across to you, I could hear Charlotte going, what did he just spit what through what? Oh. But, yeah, uh -huh. if a material is that thin, or cheap, basically, yeah. which this shirt is, uh, yeah, spit peas through That's it. a cheap shirt, is it? It is, yeah. Mm. I remember, you, you bought that um, for another thing that didn't you? I'm sure you bought that for... We had another Hawaiian day one time, didn't we? You and I, when we were singing the Everybody's Gone Surfing. That's it was right. for that day. But I don't know why we had Hawaiian shirts on that day. What was the point of that? Oh, I can't remember either. Whether it was either. National Wear a Hawaiian Shirt to Work Day or something, I don't know. But, oh, I can't uh, remember either. Right enough. Yeah, mm. we did, didn't we? No wonder you're wearing a T-shirt underneath it because, yeah, it is thin. And I bet that's the kind of thing that's going to make you sweat. Exactly, you yeah. It um, really is. Carol just says, Carol Guy, hi everyone, so nice to see Curran and her husband. How super nice of her to be there at that crazy time in the morning. I know, that is dedication to the cause and we're fully appreciative of it. Um, I don't know about you as well, Craig, though, but the fact that we've got a guest from Hawaii with us makes me kind of feel like I'm on holiday. It does, <laughs> it really does, doesn't it? <laughs> We should, def we should definitely speak after the show and see if we can, you know, you and I maybe could go on over there next time for the Craft and do it live, you know, because if, yeah, Curran's giving thumbs up because you know what, if, 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 if she's going to keep doing them, we've got to reciprocate and go over there so she can do it at a normal time in her day rather Absolutely. than get like three. So I think we should, next time Curran wants to do one, we'll go over, you know, do it on the beach. I agree. Yeah. Oh, imagine that on the, yeah. on, on the beach, crafting oh. on the beach. Can you imagine? Oh, that would be heaven. Yeah. That would be great, getting a suntan. Yeah, a glass of something uh, cool and tall. Oh, yes. Bit of, uh, bit of Hawaiian Real music. Real tropical juice with yes. tropical yeah. fruit in it. We'll have Ron behind us there on the ukulele, serenading yeah. us with tunes. Oh, it'd be something like a little movie or TV show. I know. Great. We'll see if we've got enough money in petty cash uh, <laughs> for the next one. Oh, the amount that you take out, you know. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> so we've got this one here now, Ben, where we've just mat and layered it all together. So what we're going to do at this point is, I can absolutely keep the glass in because we've not got a lot of height or depth that we need to take the glass out. But when it comes to frameworks, I do tend to take the glass out. Now what I do, in case I want it again, down the line, I keep it in. So I'm going to take the glass out, like it so. And then I'm just going to put this framework back in for now. Yeah. And then what we can then do is I'm going to come in. This is the back part of the frame. So we're going to stick that one on. So let's go in with our tape. And even although this is like a mount board within the back of this frame, it is going to hold no problem whatsoever because it is our tape runner that we're using. And then I'm just going to come back in. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to mat and layer that essentially into place and then press that one in. So now I'm going to ring this one back in. Now, of course, you can build on this before you put it together, but because I've got no glass, for me, I like to build the base first. So what I'm then just going to do here is I'm just going to come in. So what I should, there we go, that way, into here, press that one, in, so I'm just going to get that one into place. I'm just going to go and press that one down, like it so. Turn that one around. Now, because I've got no glass there, this gives me a really nice visual. I can then easily mat and layer there. I can decorate in there and know I'm getting that in that perfect position rather than doing it separate and then hoping it's all going to fit in the frame. So my frame is all good to go, we're ready to go, and as I say, if you did want to keep the glass in, you can do, because our main centre image is not going to come up too high, 
to stop the glass. It's just for me, I just tend to take the glass out. And then what we can then do, and then what you can do, if you have got the glass spare, you're not going to use anything for it, mm. go in with your, if I can get a hold of it, if I can pick it up, your alcohol reinkers and then do all your different backgrounds. Oh, amazing, and that that's a great glass idea. Effects. Maybe your uh, outline dyes are a great way to use that as well. Or, you know, your outline dyes and then your spray and sparkle, anything like that. So don't ever put it to waste. But we are just going to set that one out the side for now. I don't know, do you want to take a little break at this moment of time before we move on to the next bit? Yeah, absolutely, you can do that. Um, and certainly have a look at the uh, the deal for you as well. Remember, you can get these individually if you want, but the main value for money tonight, or uh, this afternoon rather, uh, is to get the bundle. It's uh, 41.57, 47.84 saving, uh, which is, that is a 40% saving you're receiving today off this set, uh, and you're getting in total eight, cussing, uh, eight cut and embossed folder. No cussing here. Uh, <laughs> eight cut and embossed folders uh, of different sizes, four by six and five by four. Five. Um, Rhonda just saying the last time, well, we, when we wore our shirts last time, it was probably a Friday. I think it was because we were going through a thing, weren't we? Of like, yeah, wear, wearing Hawaiian shirts on a Friday, Hawaiian mm -hmm. Fridays. I think that's what it was. Uh, anyway, all of these cut embossed folders you're going to receive. So uh, here we go. The um, the folder formerly known as Forget Me Not, but now known as Oh, run me around. Batman. Um, beautiful, as you can see, just with a bit of the uh, the blue inking. But again, if you want to cut these into your uh, black card, so use some of your uh, metallics, of course, you can do that as well. That's four by six. You've got five by five sizes as well. So your squares in the dancing daffodils. And again, you think of all of the different florals that you've got here and how you can use these right throughout the year as well for all sorts of different occasions. That one's the beautiful blossom. We were talking about that a lot yesterday with Sheena, actually, with her uh, brand new botanical bloom stamps, how, you know, anything when it comes to florals uh, is just going to be so super handy in your um, craft room because, of course, you know, you can use them for all occasions. You can use them for all recipients. You can use them year round as well. And with a selection like this, you know, from daffodils and roses to this one, that beautiful winter rose, you've almost kind of got florals for all seasons within this set as well. Um, final three to show you are all in the five by five. So that one is the uh, Fragrant Magnolias. Uh, this one is the uh, Striking Gerbils. And then you've also got the uh, Vibrant Rose in there too. Um, £49.88 or $57.41 for the set. But as I've said, if you just want to pick and choose, go for a couple. You can grab those individually. Looking good on the uh, socials front. No questions so far. No repeats, which is marvellous. Uh, we all look up to speed in um, Maui as well, so we'll cross over and see um, Corinne in just a bit. But we're all good, mate. Let's do it. You're doing a grand job, sir. Let's do it. Let's go for it. So let's take now that piece of multi-purpose cardstock that was on the list. And then for this one, what we're going to do is cut to five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So let's cut and then we're going to cut. So then what we can then do is then we can go in with our folder. So if I go in with the folder, now this one that I'm using, you might want to change it, of course, but of course I'm going to go in with the striking Gerbera. Gerbils. I thought I would say it properly just Aww. this time, just for those that okay, are going yeah. to do the craft along. Oh, yeah. Don't you be know, searching gerbils on the website because nothing yeah, will come up. Don't go gerbils, no. No. Definitely, you won't find any gerbils on the website. <laughs> you sometimes some gremlins on the website, but not, ger <laughs> not gerbils on the not website. Not gerbils, just gremlins. And then what we're going to do, because it is a two, well, it's a 2D folder, but it's a cut and emboss folder, we're going to use our two base plates that you can see here, so our two cutting plates. Now, usual when it comes to do 2D folders, or cut and emboss folders, I always like to add in my metal shim. So we're just going to go in and then we're just going to pop that in. If you have the Gemini 2, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same plate configuration. So we're just going to put that one through. Of course, with the Gemini 2, it's, the, it's two white plates. Um, but this one here, I would still add my metal shim in as well. So we've now got our cut and emboss and by going in with the metal shim although i do that anyway ben yeah. what it also does is it just gives you more of a refined outline for when you come to color okay. with your tri blends so now that i've cut that to five and a quarter by five and a quarter what i'm then going to do is i'm going to go along and then i'm going to go in with uh, my tri blends 
So the tri blends that I gave you on the list is magenta, dull green blend, gold yellow blend, citrus blend, pale pink shades, and then ice grey blends. Now for the next wee while, there is a lot of colouring when it comes to this point here. So let's start off because we're just going to go on to our, like well, I've gone in with another piece of multi-purpose cardstock, but what I, uh, you can then be scrap of course, because it's alcohol based. So we want that protection underneath. It is going to be, it's white on white at the moment, so it's going to be harder for you to see. You're, of course, following along with me. And then all that we're going to do, and I'll bring in the finished example so that you can see, is uh, the photos on online if you're wanting to have a look at it while you're colouring. But we're just going to go in. So there's three of them here that we're going to go in with the magenta. I'm going to do a little blend. I didn't want this to be, when I was speaking to Linda, really focused on blending. Mm. We want to use the tri-blends as a beginner. I wanted it to be quite spectacular, but very easy to follow. So you can simply, if you want, if you want a lovely blend, you could simply go in with the light magenta and then add a little bit of dark. If you don't want to do the three-tone blend, you don't have to. By going light and dark is enough to give you the shade. But of course, you can do the three-tone if you want. So three with the magenta. Then we've got three with the pale pink shades. And then obviously the leaves, we're going to go in with the dull green blend. And then when it comes to the centers, we're going to add accents. We're going to go in with the citrus blend and the gold yellow blend. Now for me, and I'm hoping Leanne and uh, Leah and I aren't watching, but for me when it comes to the citrus blend, when I yeah. colour, I find no difference between the light, the medium and the dark. Really? That's interesting. I don't find any difference whatsoever. And if there is, it is the most slightest of slight. For me, it's not enough to do a three-tone blend. Right. So what Linda's done for me, and I I'm, I'm believe Linda does this anyway as well, is cross over your citrus blend with your gold yellow blend just to give you that extra depth of detail. So as we can just see in here, we can just see underneath there. Yes, it's a citrus blend, but what I've done is to, cut, to create that shadow and depth, I've added more of the depth from the gold yellow blend. So I'm using them together. And then what we'll do is we'll come around afterwards with my trusted ice gray two blend. Of course. So we're just going to go in and then I'm just going to come along. So my one is that way there. And then I'm going to start with the magenta blend and I'm going to use the outline of the embossed detail, which this is what I mean by you'll be referring to your cut and emboss and take each leave at a time. So say, do go back onto my Facebook or that and have a look at the finished example if you want to follow. But we've got magenta, we've got pale pink, and then the rest are green. So all that I'm going to do, Ben, is simply start to colour. Is that cue for Ben, you chat for 40 you can, minutes? yes. I'm doing my own thing. Um, you go for it. Um, I've, I can, I've got loads of comments coming through. Thank you for all of these. Um, Sweet Imp says on YouTube, definitely trying this project now. Um, I need to learn how to frame. Sweet Imp, you won yesterday as well, didn't you? Did you email us? Um, I don't know if you were watching. I, I think you were. You know, we gave away all of Sheena's makes yesterday, didn't we? And you, yeah, we, yeah you, were the, you were the winner. So um, well done, in case you didn't know. Prizes at crafterscompanion.com. Um, Louise Carpenter says, just turned platinum today. Yes. Yes, did, how did you, were you nearly there? Or did you use Ben's Boosters? Of course, we've got the, the boosters today. I feel like uh, Buzz Lightyear, uh, to infinity and beyond. And the boosters are on the cartload show where we've got ridiculous 250 point booster deals on things like your solution for your um, stamp cleaning station. What else have we got? The scissors. Uh, Gemini cutting plate, just ridiculous. We worked out today that if you um, were starting at scratch, you could spend 30 pounds and become platinum. That's crazy, isn't That it? is wacky bonkers crazy. Almost crazy to the point where you think people have made a bit of a mistake. Uh, do, you think do you think they've realized, Ben? Next door. Or, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was 25 extra bonus points for your stamp cleaner. Oh, I, I reckon... Do you know something? I genuinely think... They've when, slipped on the keyboard. Earlier on, when I was having a bit of fresh air and I was just thinking about the, the deals on Cartload and what you've done, I was thinking, I wonder if that's meant to be 25 and someone's gone and put an extra zero on the end. Hmm. 
Was it you, Craig? <laughs> just gone along, 25, and Craig's just gone, oh, slipped, fell on the zero. Oh, never mind. But take advantage of that today, because um, it won't be here tomorrow, I can tell you that. Just whilst you're colouring as well, yeah, go for that. Sweet Imp says, what are the top three bullet points on choosing a frame to frame artwork or um, the matte and layering? So if you, you know, do you have a plan when you're going out choosing a frame or not really? Uh, not really, as long as it's a square one. Yeah. As long as it's a square one. And I sound like a broken record when it comes to car square cards, but I'm going to say it with frame, your guillotine. Your guillotine for your mats and layers. So all that I do, certainly more so when it comes to framework, is quarter of an inch increment. Yeah. Quarter of an inch increments all the way. If you can, if if you're choosing not to use the glass, do what I do. Take it out. In actual fact, you could have put it at the back so that you don't lose it for future reference. But if you're not using the glass, do what I've done: is assemble it first, and then you can assemble in. So you can get this bit all right. You can get it nice and straight in the way that you want it. Then you can then start to build and assemble on top. So when it comes to framing quarter of it or any, you know increments of mats and layers but certainly your guillotine is going to be your best friend yeah and again with those frames that like you said you know isn't it i think it's lovely when we do project uh, projects like this because you know being uh you know we make a lot of cards and obviously mm -hmm. we do a lot of projects with cars and boxes and that but so nice to do something a bit different and do a home decor project because you can pick up the frames so inexpensively as well oh can't you gosh. these days you don't have to spend a fortune well well then although linda very kindly sent me another one i've bought many of them you know hobbycraft in the uk they're about 4.99 the range they're about the same as well you can mm. get white ones gray ones pine ones black ones so you can really get a lovely array of different frames so inexpensive and it's what myself and Debbie were talking about the other day, which incidentally, Debbie loves her boxes and her light up boxes that she does a lot, as she says, and I do frameworks yeah. quite a lot because we love that look. And we were talking about, she had a box making masterclass the, the other day with myself, which uh, please do go back and have a watch because she's done awesome demos. But this day and age, Ben, it, it's gift given. Mm. It's getting harder because we don't all have the money. The cost of everything, well, let's not even get a start Ugh. on that. That you can always, even the most special people, you can always go to the lengths you used to when it comes to the money that you would spend. Not that it's all about money all the time. But what about boxes, gift boxes are great. It's the thought that counts. But yet yeah, frameworks like this, you might already have you will probably have, if you've not already got them, the cut and emboss folders. You're going to have linen cardstock. You're going to have pattern paper for five pound, a few dollars. You can get a frame. Maybe you've already got one and you can make something like that. Not cost you very much. And it's the thought, it's the time. You'd probably appreciate that more than the actual money gift. Yeah. And also nice with the fact that if you are making a project like that, you've then got the ability, haven't you, to be able to have a card uh, that matches the project. You've got a, uh, a tag that has the, you know, you've got the ability to match that up with the uh, project and then the card as well. So it's nice to be able to tie all of those uh, different things in. Mm -hmm. uh, Roxanne Hedrington joins us saying, hey Ben from Cornell, Wisconsin. I love watching new techniques. Isn't it great? And, and if you watch us uh, here at Crafters TV, you'll see lots of new techniques every day. Uh, and Louise Carpenter, who's just turned platinum today, says, thank you. I was nearly there, but yes, your boosters were a great help. Thank you. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, honestly, today the booster deals are redonk. Um, the stamping platform's got a booster on it. Cutting plates have got boosters. The stamp clean solution booster. The nine inch scissors booster. We've got penny deals on the cartload show. Uh, by the penny. Can, what? Penny. I don't get that reference. Well, that do you not watch The Big Bang Theory? Oh, no. Oh, well, you won't get it then. Oh. Anyway, they've got penny. Penny. Why, why do you keep doing the... So, uh, for those that don't watch it, very, very briefly, one of the characters, Sheldon, that when he goes next door to his neighbours, Penny, mm. yeah. he just can't knock on the door. He goes, Penny, Penny, ah. Penny. He does it three times. Ah. Uh, but it's, it's one of those... You know when you say it, it's yeah. not funny. But Penny. then when you watch it, it's, it's, it's funny. Mm. I have to tune in for that. I'll add that to the list of shows that I need to catch up on. on. It, is, it is total geek fest yeah. that it's hilarious. Mm. Yeah. Um, should we see how current it is? Because all on? I'm doing is colouring. Yeah. 
I feel, do you know what? If, if, there was, if there was ever a show, right, where we needed a bit of, you know, maybe a bit of light relief, but musical accompaniment. Musical it, interlude. It, 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 was, it was this show, wasn't it? And how amazing that we've got uh, someone who can provide that. I don't know where we are with playing, uh, like, well-known songs in full, though, Johnny, whether we've got, like, the, the copyright for that, you know, no, no ACDC or anything like that. Maybe just let's go across the current and ask, um, you, is, is Ron a singer and player or just a player? He's a singer and a player. Oh, okay. And does he write his own music? Nah. No. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> nah. You can come in, scooch in, scooch in. Is there like, um, I don't know, like a, a lesser known sort of song that we can do, you know, not, not like uh, the Beatles or something like that, for example? They can play some wine. Play some what? Oh, yes, some wine. This is amazing. Well, do you, do you fancy just playing us a few, a, a, a few tunes there and we, we can just listen to you whilst you're colouring in? <laughs> he can do that. <laughs> Go for it. This is amazing. I told you he's better than me. Go for it. Mine's down here. <laughs> Thank you so much. I feel like um, the first ever instrumentalist uh, ukulele player um, to, uh, on, a, on a craft along. So that was amazing. How long have you been playing, did you say? Oh, um, six years. Wow. Do, do you play in, in, a, in a band or anything like that? Or do, do you gig? Or? Yeah, I do, yeah. It's most nice. And what sort of what sort of stuff do you like to play? Like who who are the who are the bands that you like to uh, like to play and sing? Uh, just yeah, <laughs> Beatles music. Nice. Uh, well, it was brilliant. Really enjoyed that, and I think maybe we'll get you on a little bit later on potentially to. Uh, uh, to play some more. We might have to get you on, you know, if we ever do like a colouring craft along again, uh, Craig, and mm -hmm. uh, Curry's not on, we'll just have to dial in and get, get Ron on in the background to, to play some music to all keep right. us all entertained. Yeah. But definitely. You have excellent taste. Say again? Oh, yes. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, amazing. I've loved it. Absolutely brilliant. Are you getting on all right with the craft along, Curry, as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is a great one. I like it. Thank you. Yeah. You know, You're you said welcome. earlier on as well, you've been um, crafting for, I can't remember exactly how long you said, but it's, it seemed like a long time. Is, is that uh, because you were doing it like at college and then have carried on doing it? Or um, how come you've been crafting for so long? Oh, just so long, you know, started as a kid, but got more serious in card making in 2017 as a way to earn I stumbled upon uh, CC and I've been following you guys ever since. Oh, amazing. And again, have you kind of made lots of friends with our other viewers through uh, Crafters TV? I have met the most amazing people and friends, my girls, and my youth uh, brother. <laughs> um, I've got Sarah from Australia. I've got Christine, Nancy, Lori. Yeah, I've met the most amazing on here wow. and shout out to everybody very bad he said so many of you <laughs> and that's really special yeah is there have you ever met any of your friends who you've met digitally have you ever like met up in in, in person or is there ever a plan to do that i'd love to get everybody to come here we go down on the beach and craft wow. <laughs> yes how far are you from the beach from your house like a five-minute walk. Oh, 
Do you, do, you, do you go to the beach a lot? Because I, I mean, I used to live um, right down south in England in a place called Devon, and uh, where we were, there were beaches everywhere. But I, I lived there for about 35 years, and it got to a point where um, you kind of took it for granted a little Absolutely. bit because you were so close to all the beaches, and I, yeah. I ended up never going. So, but does that happen to you? I guess it doesn't if you've got a beach five minutes down the road. Sometimes it does, um, especially you know if it's tourist season and the beaches are really crowded. I don't like to go down there. Mm. Do, do you get a lot of talk? Because the sharks are out. Sharks? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Scrap Hawaii. We're not doing it anymore. Crave for sharks. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> is, um, is is Maui one of the most popular islands? Because as I said, I when we went on my honeymoon, we, we went to um, Oahu, which is. Um, we went to Waikiki, a Waikiki beach. So is, is Maui as popular or more popular for tourists? That's a tough one. I, I know a lot of people really like Maui and a lot of people like the Big Island. Um, I think Maui is, is pretty popular. Yeah. Probably the best. I, just for me, I don't know if Craig feels the same as well, but like, I mean, I went to Hawaii as a save. We were there for about three or four days, and it was just, if I could kind of like describe paradise, that's, that's where it would be. It, I, I loved it so much. Um, and, and did you ever think that, Craig? When you talk about Hawaii, you just think like golden sands, mm -hmm. warm sunshine, blue skies, like paradise, right? Yeah. Yeah, would you think of anything tropical, anything like that when it comes to anything like that? Even when it comes to films or TV shows, or whenever you think of that or see places like that, you do, you think of Hawaii, you yeah. think of that relaxation, you think of, of course, just, uh, you know, on the, the hammocks and there at the pina colada or, you know, with the, oh. the uh, coconuts and the beach and the waves, you do, I, I do, I, it's always what I think of. A serious question, where do you guys go on holiday? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Viva Las Vegas! Do you actually? Is that the main What's place that? you go? Is that the main place that you go on holiday to Vegas? That, well, that yeah. or we go back to Washington State. Uh, to visit. Have you still got friends and family there, obviously? Yes, we both do. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Um, d listen, I tell you what, I feel like I could chat to you all day uh, about ukuleles, crafting, Hawaii. We'll come back and chat to you more in just a second, but uh, for now, we'll let you get on with your colouring. Thank you again, Ron. That was awesome. I think we should definitely get some more um, playing from you before the end of the show. Yeah, uh, cool. We'll come back to you very soon, Corinne, but uh, crack on. It's been lovely to chat. Oh, right. dear. <sighs> then you wish you were by the It's funny you saying that, Ben, because, right of course, as, as I say quite a lot, um, obviously, my hometown, there, I, where, where my flat was before I moved here was yeah. also quite literally a five-minute walk down from the beach. Mm. And although I loved going there, I definitely I took it for granted. Whenever I go home, the very first thing I do, doesn't matter what time it is, first thing I do is I go for a walk along the beach. Gee, actually. Or if the tide's in, I'll walk along the, the seafront. Yeah. And then the very last thing I do, or one of the last things I do, is go back along the beach as well. I just absolutely love it. I feel like I did take it for granted when I was there. So now I just treasure the time whenever, whenever I'm home yeah. and I go down the beach. Does Carnoose, do you get a lot of tourists yeah. then? So yeah, a lot of our tourists are American golfers. Oh, uh, of course. Our, um, well, most are American, but then there's a lot from all over the world because ours is a golf town. Yeah. So between us and St Andrews and Glen Eagles, we get kind of like the big golfing events mm -hmm. or the women golfing events. So, yeah, we get so, so many tourists. And, yeah. you know, many of them will bring their families, of course, as they will do, and then the families will tour about while the husband... It is predominantly husbands that are going away golfing. Yeah. You know, not all of them, but usually when the families come across, the, the husbands are the ones that are out playing golf, and then the wife and the kids are there. Uh, sometimes they bring their in-laws or that with them, and then they yeah. just have a, have a wee uh, trip around Scotland. Do you play golf, Craig? Uh, I James know, Huskin. deadly squat about golf. Uh. So All that I know it is the yeah. most beautiful golf course to walk across, yeah. either alone or with the dog or just catch up with friends. And then we also have Barry Budden adjacent to the actual Barry who? golf club. Barry Budden. So it's where 
all the army come from all over the UK and actually all over the world and they ah. train. They train for situations that we hope will never, ever, ever happen. Yeah. But they come down there. And the only way I, I, can, I can explain it, and only I would explain it in this way, the land, it's like something out the hills have eyes. Oh, OK. Yeah. Mm. Totally desert. Trust you then, in a horror movie reference. But then, you know, there's, um, you know, like firing points and all that sort of stuff where the mm. train... And when the flag's up, you can't walk across because they're training. Um, but when the flags are down, you can walk for miles and miles and miles. You can walk for hours and hours and hours. Yeah. It's just absolutely incredible. Wow. I think we need to do some sort of like crafty beach tour then. We could go crafting in Carnoustie. Mm -hmm. We'll go back to Devon with me. I think as much as I'm from South Devon, uh, I'd probably take you over to like the South Hams because there's some lovely beaches around like Bantham Bay. Sulcum is one of the most gorgeous, gorgeous uh, villages, um, beach area um, in Devon. So we'd probably go and do that. That. We'll go over to we'll go over to Hawaii. We'll do. Oh, Lynn's invited us to go to the Isle of Wight and craft on the beach there. Excellent. Uh, I think that it's a, it's a definite uh, must do. Um, just a few hellos as well, and yeah. a, a question coming in. Uh, Eleanor says, late checking in today. Happy to see my favourite duo. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> always enjoy watching Cray Crate and listening to Ben. Oh, thank you. Uh, Kimberly says, I could craft listening to ukulele music. It's relaxing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So relaxing. You just like close your eyes and imagine that you're on a, a beach somewhere in Maui. Five minutes walk away. Oh, heaven. What's five minutes walk away from here? Uh, Greg's. Newton Acliffe Town Centre. Oh, Greg's Bakery. Greg's. Charlotte's gone. Yeah. Beach or Greg's? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I think? My um, love of Hawaii, I've always liked Hawaii. And do you know where I think it stems from for me? Why is that? Magnum P.I. Do you think so? I used to, yeah, because I used to watch that show as a kid. And obviously Magnum, you know, um, I think... I think that might have been filmed, right, I think they went everywhere, but you know, mainly like sort of Honolulu, but some of the locations and yeah. just always looked, I always used to think looked amazing. Um, so I think that's why I've always loved Hawaii. I'm, I'm like that, I, I couldn't think of the film while we were chatting to Corinne there, but it's just come back to me. Have you mm. ever seen the film Six Days, Seven Nights? Oh, is that with Harrison Ford? Harrison Ford. When they crash on the beach? Hitch. Yeah, uh -huh. yes, yeah, I have seen that. It's a brilliant, funny film. Is it's that got, Hawaii? It's got, I don't know, but it reminds me of Hawaii. Ah. And it's because it's got uh, David Schwimmer from Friends in it as well. Of course, yes. And yeah, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know if it is done in Hawaii or off of Hawaii, but it remi whenever I watch it, I always think of Hawaii. Um, Maui is gorgeous, says Roseanne Baker. I just went to um, a Hawaiian cruise to see five different islands last October. Uh, Kaui, have I pronounced that right? Is it my favourite island? Ka Kaui? Kui? I'm trying to... I'm, I'm seeing... Kauai. One of them. Yeah, Kauai. Uh, it's my favourite. My hubby and I honeymooned in Maui in 87, says Laurel. Uh, been back three more times. We love it there. Um, and Rhonda says, I got married on Kauai. Uh, and as soon as I stepped off the plane, I felt like I was home. There was a fabulous double rainbow, and I cried like a baby when we had to leave after 12 days of paradise. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when we landed there, they, um, what are the, uh, are they called lays? The, the wreaths, lays. As soon as you got off the plane, like, and you get through passport, you're in there, and there's a ukulele music Some going on. And, and they, on. Yeah, they, they put the, the lay around your yeah. neck, and you just, I just felt so welcome um, in Hawaii. I loved it. If they're, they're in San Francisco. Um, I absolutely loved. If you could go anywhere in the world, Ben, Oof. where where would you go? Where, well, I would probably um, only on uh, Laura's say so. I'd probably head to Australia. I'd love mm -hmm. to go down under. She because before I met Laura, she'd done like I think she was like she went away for about six months. She did university. And then um, had like a gap year and she did sort of, well, similar to where Debbie's gone now. She did like Vietnam, uh, Thailand, Singapore, and then, then went to Australia and spent quite a while, I think, in Australia and like worked there for a little bit. Yeah. And she said like, yeah, there would be amazing. So I think I'd love to go there. I'd love to go back to Hawaii. I'd love to go back to San Francisco. I'd love to just go to the States. But the thing is, is so, when you think about all the different places you can visit in the States, you probably just need to take a holiday for about a year, wouldn't you? you? Would, yeah, <laughs> to and, get it all and that's done. exactly where I would. Love you, to go. Oh yeah, go, go, whereabouts in the states specifically, though? Uh, well, well, it's no secret. I'll always go back to, to New York. Right, choose somewhere else because we, we always know you're going to say New I'm York. Always going to say New York, but yeah. and I, I would if I if I'd won the lottery or I was in money and I would just get a camper van and I would probably start just at one end or one side of America and just travel. 
yeah. just travel and go. And I don't mean just, you know, the big, the big cities or that. I mean, even the really low population when it comes to little towns and right away out of the back and just everywhere, absolutely everywhere in America. I've never been one for like, France or Paris. Or oh, you've got to visit Jim. Paris. Paris is Although gorgeous. Although they are beautiful, beautiful cities mm. and places. It's just never been my inkling to go. Mm. It's just something about America. I think for me, because I speak um, a bit of um, franglais, a bit of, uh, you know, I get by in French, let's just say. Speak French. Oh, that's a girl's loud song, isn't um, it? I don't speak French. Play the, the funky, funky, funky music. music. But anyway, I like to go over there because I like to try out my uh, my franglais with the um, with the francophones. Um, but Paris is amazing. You should do Paris definitely um, if you can. Mm -hmm. um, let us know in the comments where you'd love to visit. Where's your like ideal holiday destination? Where would you love to Where would you love to go to? Um, Vicky Laird says, "Come to Long Island. Yeah. We have beautiful beaches there." Have you been to Long Island? Uh, no, but I would like to. Uh, uh, Hannah. Um, lovely Hannah Gosling Smith says, I've been lucky enough to go to Hawaii twice. Uh, Waikiki, you say Waikiki was way more built up than I expected, uh, but it was so beautiful and everyone was so nice. Um, Hannah says, Ben, when you went to Oahu, did you go to the ranch where they filmed Jurassic Park? N Lost in 51st day? I didn't. All I remember really about um, Oahu was just laying on the beach all day. <laughs> and uh, drinking cocktails and stuff. Oh, yeah, that was done in uh, 51st Day. Yeah. It's done there, isn't it? With Drew yeah. Barrymore. Mm -hmm. Right enough, yeah. What I also remember about uh, Oahu, which I loved, because you know, you know me, I love, a, I love a funky shirt. Like in the, at the convenience stores there, you know where you go and get your milk and your bread and whatnot, like li literally everyone uh, sold Hawaiian shirts, Did which they? I just thought was... Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Pop down. I'll just go and get a, a loaf of bread and a bottle of milk. Oh, and I'll pick up a new shirt as well. Um, of course, I had to buy a couple whilst I was over there. Uh, Rosalind says, Craig, Kruger National Park in South Africa is on my bucket list. No, yeah, that was, uh, yes, actually. It is safari and that yeah. would be good. Yeah. My dad did that. He, where did he, he it, might, it might have been Kruger. He went to South Africa a few years ago, actually, as, um, as an umpire, as part of a cricket tour with, um, the, the Devon Creek team, so he's been there. South Korea, says Hannah Gosling-Smith, I'd love to go there. Jamie would like to go there, Fish mm -hmm. and Mixer Jamie. I would like Australia as well, that would be yeah. good. I'd like to go there. Um, where is this? Bora Bora. Bora Bora? Oh, Bora Bora. Has been on my bucket list for many years. Where's that? Where is it? Hi, right, Charlotte, don't shout. Oh, the Maldives, she says. Bora Bora. Yeah, Maldives, I'd definitely be up for a bit of that action. Where would Johnny and Charlotte and Jamie want to go? Jamie? <laughs> Charlotte has gone, Maldives! Uh, Jamie would like to go to Thailand to see well, his we friends. We did speak about that, Jamie, didn't we? A couple of weeks ago. Johnny? <laughs> I did just <laughs> yes, said, yes, please. please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Anywhere you want. <laughs> Maldives would be good. Seychelles. Oh, yeah. Uh, what did he say? Oh, I thought you... <laughs> <laughs> He's just actually said, where's Debbie at? Barley looks good. But I thought he said, where's Debbie at? Barnsley looks good. I thought you were talking about Debbie Barnes. Robinson then. Yeah. I go down the road, tip Barnsley, seek Barnsley bombshell. What am I like? I'll be passing there tomorrow. Hey? I'll be passing there tomorrow. I'll give Debbie a wave on the way home. I will do, yeah. Yeah. On the way back, not the way home, on the way back down to, where are you going again? Redditch? Redditch. Uh, my bucket, oh, Adriana, my bucket list trip is to Greece. I only have two days off this summer, not long enough to visit. Greece is gorgeous. Um, been to a few of the Greek islands, cars, roads. Which we established on Monday, we've never seen the film Greece. No, no, we haven't. But that's a different Greece, obviously. Yeah, it's a completely different Greece. Have you ever been to Greece? Have I been to yeah. Greece? No. Oh, it's gorgeous. Been to... Zakynthos is nice. Tenerife, Gran Canaria, Salou. Salou? Salou. Where's that? Spain. Is it? Yeah. Uh, just not that far from Barcelona. Uh, been to Yugoslavia a couple of times before, obviously, mm. all the horrible times they've had. Yeah. Uh, that was when I was young. Um, Florida. Yeah. A few times. Um, Lynette says, I'd like to go to Iceland or Greenland. Do you know what? No, and this is a, well, it's not that interesting at all, actually, but I'll tell you anyway. Um, so a friend of mine I used to play cricket with, uh, back in Devon, he moved out to Iceland 
I'm not quite sure what he's doing there. He's he lives and works there, a uh, big cricketer, and he helped introduce uh, cricket to, to Iceland, right? And he really? set up the Iceland national cricket team and he's now the uh, vice captain of the team and runs it. And for like cricket teams like mine now, I mean, they play in like the, like the European Cricket League or something, but he's helped set it up. And you can go out there now as a cricket team and play against the Icelandic national team, which he helped set up. That's amazing. True story. Yeah. It does, does look nice, Iceland as well. Um, it, it does, to be fair. Looks it amazing, does. doesn't it? It was the same. I never watched it. It was like many shows, uh, Ben, that... I don't see and I don't watch until I'm watching Gogglebox. Oh, yeah. And then they watch whatever it is, and I'm like, oh, that looks really good. I'm going to watch that. And it was um, Thingy Across the World. Tr journey Across the World or Travel Across the World. Oh, Journey, I, yeah, I know what you mean. just finished. Yeah. And, oh, my gosh, where they were, like, where Canada and that, it looked absolutely incredible. Oh, like, Canada I'd like to go and visit. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jamie's been to Canada. Where did you go? Went to Halifax, that's Yorkshire. What are you on about? You're in Yorkshire, mate. West Yorkshire. Oh, he was there on a single night by accident in uh, Halifax. That, that's Nova Scotia, isn't it? I think. They're on the way to Mexico and the flight had to, oh, emergency land, and they ended up in Halifax, apparently. Um, just a quick question. Yeah. That, the reason why we're obviously having this lovely chat is because we are um, enjoying the colouring, not, you know, not. Too much. We don't need commentary on the colouring, no, no. do we, for, for, for half an hour? But um, Kim says, how do you keep the tri-blend colour from spreading past the embossed image? Mine seems to spread as they dry. Is, that, um, is she using the wrong paper there, I'm maybe? I'm wondering or? if you're using the wrong paper or cardstock. Mm. To create that extra stability, I'm using white multi-purpose. Now, yeah. of course, as we always say, your um, Nina, Nina is the best however because it's it's a framework that we're creating and want that extra little bit of strength and stability so i'm using my white multi-purpose but yeah i'm wondering if maybe it's that's the case or if you are using your multi-purpose or that you know you're using what i am using what i would say is don't if that is what's happening then don't go right to the edge mm. of the emboss maybe just come in a couple of mils or so so you know go go up to you know a couple of mils just before the edge so if it is bleeding for whichever reason it will just bleed up to that embossed edge and not any further that embossed edge should actually hold it all together and stop it from traveling yeah nice one thank you nice one you're welcome uh melody d says my dream trip is to anywhere tropical and free yeah here here um we haven't got a, 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 an abroad holiday plan this year actually uh we're going to Lake Coniston a week after next for a, a, a week with the family. But then we've got, so we've got two weeks, two weeks off in August. I haven't booked anywhere, so uh, you know if anyone, uh, anyone, <laughs> anyone's got a spare villa or anything like that, they want to. What? What? No! Why? It's expensive. It's expensive now, isn't it? It is. It's expensive. Johnny's just going. Do last minute, man. But yeah, last minute. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, but what? You get to Turkey next week for three hundred quid? Oh, eight hundred quid. Yeah, but it's worth putting it out there, you know, with all of our, uh, all of our friends. Some, someone might have a villa somewhere. <laughs> they want to lend out. Wow. <laughs> what did you say, Johnny? It was 800 quid for the family of four to Turkey for a week? Oh, maybe we'll do that then. Are you have you got a holiday planned this year? Mm, uh, mm. Not a, a way away. Mm. Um, you know, I've got a few days here and there. I've got London at the end of June, beginning of July. Mm. Um, I've got a, a day or two in Manchester coming up. So, uh, yeah, nowhere is specific. You know, I am still... Uh, I still look whenever I'm passing the travel agents or anything like that. As much as I look online, you know, I still like to just look in the window for the last-minute special deals. But uh, nothing set in stone at the moment, anyway. Maybe, though. Maybe... Um, let us know about your uh, dream trips. Keep those coming through. I really feel like I want to go on holiday now. After reading this list, I've just got in front of me Greece, uh, Maui, Bora Bora, South Korea, <laughs> uh, Long Island. Um, and loads of lovely comments coming through about the, um, the craft log as well. 
Uh, Ella says, late checking in today. Happy to see my favorite duo. Hi, Roxanne, he's joined us as well from Wisconsin. Um, and don't forget as well, coming up after uh, this little show, we have got, that was very Devonshire, we have got the uh, big cartload tonight. If you fancy picking up some bargains, we've got penny deals, Benny's penny deals. Uh, spend a penny with Benny. I like that, Lillian, I'm keeping it. Uh, we've got the 10 pound deals, Ben's tens. We have got 30% off deals. We've also got, um, what else have we got on the show tonight? Oh, the booster deals as well. Don't forget the Ben's booster deals um, and the pick of the day as well. So lots to be jumping in for a little bit later on uh, in that cartload, which will be fast and furious. You've been busy getting all these deals and offers sorted, haven't you? I, I'm always busy, always busy. You guys think I just rock up and <laughs> stand here and chat nonsense for a few hours. I'm always busy. Busy, busy, busy. Not checked out the uh, Crafters TV Instagram page today? I um, have. If you haven't, check it out, because I've taken it over. Oh, and by the way, for those of you that were asking, I think, who was it you asked specifically? Somebody asked, like, oh, can we have a little sneaky peek in the gallery? I've done a bit of a magical mystery tour look around uh, to the theme of magical mystery tour, where you get a bit of a behind the scenes look um, in the gallery, only a quick one, uh, in the library. The green room. green room. Apologies if you do watch that and you look in the green room and you go, cool, blind, that green room is a right old mess. I didn't have time to tidy it up. And I'd like to give you the feel of what it's actually like in the what green room. What it's actually like, yeah. It's never tidy in there, is it? It's never tidy. No. It's our, it's, it's our green room. It's our dumping ground for all our stuff. Yeah, exactly right. We literally come in, chuck the bags in, and then um, off we go. So you saw it in its real state. Do you like when you guys, you know, pretend that your craft rooms are tidy and send us pictures? We know. We know. Mm -hmm. We know. Uh, and then we had a look in Studio 2, Studio 1, um, and we ended up seeing what Johnny was having for dinner, which was a cheese pie, wasn't it? Cheese pie. Was it nice? Mm. And the reason, what I would say as well, the whole reason that this is going on is because I'm doing it tomorrow. No, 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 no. no. Across on Hobby Maker in the UK, Hobby Maker's Instagram page, which of course anyone across the globe can be having a look at that one. So do make sure you also check out Hobby Maker TV's Instagram because I'm taking over their Instagram stories from tomorrow. So my journey from home all the way there and my shows to the end of the day. You're going to film the whole fun. journey. No one's going to watch that. It's going to be terrible content. Just Bet. watching you in the car. Bet they would watch. Mm. Bet they would watch. Keep me company. Keep me company, that's for sure. But mm. yes, I definitely not. You, might, you, you, you may see my regular pit stop as to where oh, I stop. Costa? Uh, no. Starbucks? Starbucks. Mm. No. No. Uh, what's uh, your order in Starbucks? So it has been for a while vanilla ice latte, but as of late, it's vanilla ice latte with oat milk instead. Oh, oh, it, it I, makes it, it taste even creamier. Oat milk's nice, is it? What's oh, it is actually. When I was um, when I was on the whole, um, you know, I didn't eat meat for a few years. And then I, I then tried to do the whole vegan thing as well, which I found quite difficult. And the biggest thing that I found um, difficulty with was finding a replacement for milk. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I never did, although I didn't try oat milk. Maybe I should try that. What was the one that tasted horrible? It was so sweet, like um, almond milk. I don't know almond if I would have milk. it with, not that I'm a big breakfast eater or cereal eater. I don't mm. know if I would have it with anything like that. But yeah, in the vanilla ice latte. Oh, it's really nice. Mm. Well, you've got all that to look forward to tomorrow as Craig yeah. takes over Hobby Maker. I know, I'm going to be on with Ruth as well. <laughs> See what he orders at Starbucks. Send your Starbucks order in. Yeah. Starbucks, See how fast he watching. drives down the motorway. Starbucks, if you're watching. <laughs> you have to keep it bang on 70 tomorrow, won't you, eh? I know, <laughs> I know. So, I'm quite happy with that. Now, Ben, I've gone in with my floral. So I, I know we've been chatting away. I don't know if you want to take a little bit of a break for anyone to catch up, because all that we need to do afterwards is go around with our ice grey two, and then we'll go in with our gold metallic marker. But we'll stop there. It's like kind of a stopping point, and then we can come back just shortly and then carry on. Amazing. Melanie D says, I love watching Craig's colouring. And Tracy Morley says, the files look amazing. I did a similar one in uh, the wake-up one 
Uh, oh, in the, that's the forget-me-nots, wasn't it? Uh, mine doesn't look as good at this. Tracy? I bet it uh, does. I bet it does. Uh, and even if not, it's not a competition. I bet it looks amazing. I think it's all about, you know what, you do you. you know, there's, no, there's no point in comparing. If you've done a great job, which I'm sure you have, um, then that is marvellous. Uh, we're going to quickly, I don't, I'm not going to get bored in going back to Maui at all. We'll quickly go back to Maui. We're going to have a break in a second just to see how uh, Corinne is getting on. How's it going? How's the colouring going? Oh, it's going well. I've just been listening to you guys chatting and uh, came up with an idea about vacation. Oh, yeah? We want to go to the UK and you want to come to Hawaii. We could swap houses for a week. Be like the holiday. Yes! Yeah. Crafty version of the holiday film. <laughs> I am loving that idea. Uh, would you want to look after two dogs as well or would I have to stick those in a kennel? <laughs> <laughs> We could handle two dogs if you can have the one feisty cat. Oh, I love a cat! <laughs> I love a cat. <laughs> well, here we go. We will chat after the show. Look at me using me, uh, me work time to sort mm. out my holiday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we should then, um, we'll, um, we'll message after the show. <laughs> I, although, yeah, I do. Have you never been to the UK then? Never been, but it's been on my bucket list forever. Oh, wow. Oh, and then here's the thing, because I'm, because I'm obviously not from up here because I live up in the northeast now, uh, but obviously I moved up for work. My house, five minutes away from the studios. Nice. Yes. And only uh, probably, what, how far is the Chesterfield store? Hour and a half? Yeah. And you've got loads of great train links and everything up here. And uh, I mean, yeah. Sat Lake District, you've got you've got the seaside, you've got the countryside, you're near to Scotland as well, just like an hour and a half or so away. I mean, I think it sounds like a done deal, right? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I'll message you. I'll message you after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Craig, do you want to come? Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, I feel... Uh, how, should, we, should we have a quick look at your colouring, by the way? Can we have a, a, a quick look? Oh, oh that's wow. amazing. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Colouring. Fantastic stuff. I tell you what, I, f I'm, I feel a little bit over, over, overcome now. We shall take a little bit of a break. Um, <laughs> Johnny's just saying Corinne could come here uh, and stay with my Laura and then I could come over to uh, Hawaii and uh, play some ukuleles with Ron. Ron wants to come to the UK. Yeah, and Laura will definitely want to go to Hawaii. So that is not a plan. Uh, listen, Corinne, for now, thank you so much. We're going to take a short little break and uh, when we come back, we will uh, we'll do some more crafting, more colouring. Uh, but if you, <laughs> if you want to, I didn't expect that conversation to happen. Anyone else want to do any house swaps? Let Anyone know. living in New York want to do a house swap? Anyone in New York wants to do a house swap with with uh, with Craig mm -hmm. uh, do, do let us know it's got a, a lovely lovely house but uh, <laughs> this is hilarious we're gonna get in trouble uh, you should be on air boys concentrating on what you're doing not sorting out your vacations uh, right we are gonna have a short break when we come back more more with this uh, craft along more holiday talk where can we get a vacation to next Craig and I well, uh, we'll find out in about three or four minutes time Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. 
We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should we should be coming in? in? Should we come? <laughs> what does she do? Exactly what does she do? Looks. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day and it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom there's a show for every type of crafter from first-time dabblers to full-time makers crafters tv create every day We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling. And it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people. So it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased. And I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made. Talk about customers, but really, the going as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we're all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family so uh, Samantha says Craig uh, me Brooklyn New York I'm already checking out flights uh, I could come and stay, couldn't I? You think I'm, you think I'm joking as well? I, I haven't got that comment through. Did you say someone's got uh, two rooms available in Las Vegas? Oh, I would love to go to Las Vegas as well. To, me and you to Vegas? Oh my God, it would be like weekend? something from The Hangover. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I'm, 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 ge I'm genuinely... In, you know, do, you know, do you know what I'm thinking? Do you know what I'm thinking? Amy from LA wants to do a swap. You've... So you've you go to Charlotte's no house, yeah. You've now got the login for Crafters TV Instagram. Yes. I, I've got it as well. I've now got Hobby Makers login for Instagram. We could go to Las Vegas and oh my gosh, what a time we could have. Tear it up. Tear it up, both socials. Hey. There you go. <laughs> and before you ask, no, I haven't been looking to see how much it costs to get a flight to marry. I haven't been looking at that at all. 17 hours, is it? That's man. That's, that's fine. Fine, they'll have movies, won't they, on those kind Can of flights? like Leanne? Hey? Leanne. What does she do? Goes on a plane, sits in her chair, and she's out like that. Really? Mm-hmm. Ah. Yep. Yep. What does she I have in her bottle? It's not water. Beforehand, but hey? I think she tanks a few beforehand. <laughs> but tanks I'm a joking. Few. I am joking. I am joking. <laughs> she does it. She literally does sit down and she's out like... Oh, I'd love to be able to I do that. I wish I could do that. Mm, not anymore. Maybe back in the day. Um, 
Rhonda says, I have two guest rooms here in fabulous Las Vegas, and you are both welcome. Well, thank you, everybody. This is um, incredible. Well, I've, I've, I've never been to Vegas. Huh? I've never been to Vegas, no. And it looks cool. You know, I know it's a good number of years old, but then I just think of it, National Lampoon's Vegas Vacation, plus the hangover. Mm. Oh, my gosh. That would be, that would be epic. Right, we'll start planning some holidays after the show. Uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, the, all of the uh, suggestions and the house swaps. I'm def I, this is all we're doing in between shows now. <laughs> dear Corinne, dear Rhonda, what dates do you have available for me to come to your house? What do you mean it depends? Uh, that's the thing, yeah. Th we, we'll have Job to obviously swap. work out who, you know, what times we can swap, because it depends what, you know, uh, Ron, do this oh, for a I could step in for you. Yeah. And Karen can come and do this side. Yes. No, she's on holiday. She doesn't want to come and do work. Oh, right enough. Yeah. She might want to get. Yeah, no, but she might want a guest. Oh, she's nodding. She's yeah. nodding that she'd come and yeah, she'd come on up. air. Oh, all right. Here you go. <laughs> we'll get our people to talk to your people, and we'll uh, sort. Of, we better get back to talking business here, because again, the bosses are going to be in a minute. Going, oh, we do talk about holidays. <laughs> Anyway, welcome back to the ever professional uh, Craft Along show, uh, where Craig is in the midst of popping together a beautiful home decor project with the floral frame cut and embossing folder collection. Absolutely. Um, how are you getting on? So, we, uh, we were obviously we were left at, off at. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go in with our ice grey. So, I'm going to go in with the ice grey too, and I'm going to do what I love to do, and that is just draw all the way around. If you find that some of your pen has started to travel just over the embossed line, then of course the grey is going to help disguise that. So by drawing around, I like to do the grey first before I come along with the gold, because then if we do, and there is a big chance that I'll get my grey onto that embossed frame. So therefore, if that happens, at least then the gold will then cover that grey work. So all that I'm then just going to do is travel all the way along. And I am framing it with the grey all the way round. So we're just going to go in. And then I'm just going to work that along. You could use a ruler if you want to on these straight lines. But I do try and avoid that because I do like that little bit of rusticness where if you have a little wobble when it comes to the pen, then it looks that little bit more effective. And of course, handmade. So we're just working all the way around. So we're just drawing all the way around where we've colored every single embossed edge. We're just traveling all the way around. And at first, the ice gray too still looks a little bit dark mm. against the colors that you've used. But remember, it's alcohol based. So it is going to get a little bit subtler and a little bit lighter. So it works really well. You may want to change to a very light blue if you want to. There's a couple of tones that you could use, but I always tend to stick with my grey because it's my, my favourite. It just gives it that wow effect. Just to say how beautiful that colouring is as well. I know we've, we've been chatting away whilst you've been colouring, but it looks amazing. That Do you know, I, w I was, I'll, I'll not concerned, but I was worried about whether I could do it justice within mm. the time frame. I mean, I, I'm really pleased with what I've managed to, to create in the time frame. Um, read your journey tomorrow. Lillian says, Craig, you could show us the whole journey if you sped up the play rate. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. I think it's the most interesting of journeys down to oh, Reddit. Oh, it's an though, awful it? journey. No. Absolute awful. It's awful. It's boring. Yeah. He's likely to get stuck in traffic as well. So uh, you'll, yeah. just, <laughs> you'll just see Craig getting more angry and angry as he's like stuck on the M1. <laughs> I do. That's the, that's the, the one thing. I can get road rage. Hmm. Oh, yes, dear. it's uh, that. And I, I can shout some things in the car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't get out of the car and shout at anyone. <laughs> no, no. No. I wouldn't do that. Not that brave. Got all mod cons in your car as well, haven't you? All the, all the, all the gear in there, I think. I do, yeah. Yep. Most of it, anyway. Mm. Let's see, it was just the other month I realised and found out that I had heated steering wheel. Oh, nice. Yep. I had a bit of I just had a bit of road rage the other day. No, it wasn't road rage, but do you know when like someone knows they are 100 percent in the wrong, but then they still shout at you? Mm -hmm. Right. So here in the UK, okay, mm -hmm. right, Craig. So is it? So I'm I'm approaching the roundabout, yeah, 
I've got someone on my left, left hand side here. Yeah. 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 I've got right of way, haven't I? To give way to the right at a roundabout. Mm. Yeah. So I've so I've, got, I've looked to my right. Nobody come in, and this lady in this is one of those little smart cars. As I just come around, just pulls out in front of me. I have to slam the brakes on. And she's there. I don't know what she was saying because the, uh, the, <laughs> the window was wound up, but she was pointing and shouting at me. Uh, this was on the way down to uh, Warrington on Tuesday. Uh, oh, she was pointing, she was shouting and gesticulating. No way, really? I, I mean, yeah. I was like, you're in the wrong. I was like, excuse me, madam. Do you not know the highway code? You should have given away to me. How dare you? Good day to you. And I drove off, but yeah. I hate it when people, you know, can't kind of, you know, bring their, bring admit their, up to the, yeah, yeah. their own mistakes. So like, you're in the wrong. You should have given way to me. Goodness sake. I'm generally quite a calm driver these days, actually. I've had, had, me, had me days of speeding around. I'm calm until someone to, tips me off. So someone tips you off. <laughs> yeah. And then you're a bit like, um, what's he called? See you. See you, Jimmy. Ru no, Russ Abbott. Oh, okay. <laughs> what was the character he used to do? Um, see you, Jimmy. See you, Jimmy. What's he called? Oh, now you now you've stumped me. I have to find it. Now you've stumped me on that one. Uh, It'll come to me when I'm not thinking. But yeah, if you if you have a wee look. Uh, so I've gone around. Oh, oh you just called <laughs> See You, Jimmy. Just cut, that's all it's called. Yeah, See You, all Jimmy. It's called. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> what I'm going to do with this one? So I've gone that outside and on that inner with the grey, and then I'm going to now. You can't freehand that, of course. Or what I am going to do, you could use your ruler or you could use the edge of a piece of cardstock. Mm -hmm. If you're going to use a ruler or whatever it is that you're using, what to do is when you do that, so I'm just going to travel down and then I'm going to lift my ruler up. Because if you travel and then you move it to the side, yeah. because the ink is still wet to start with, you're going to smear it. So what you're wanting to do is then, don't need to do it on that one, I can do it on this one here. So I'm just going to line that one up and then travel down, and then I'm just going to lift up. And then that one, it's quite small, so I'm just going to go freehand. Let's finish that one off here. Um, and I think, I think that's all that I need to do on that one. And then that creates that framework that you can see. Let me just join there. And then you can see how all of that and then Ben has come together, perfectly frames it, and it's just that little addition when it comes to the gold. There mm -hmm. you go. So we've got that one there, so I can move all that to the side. What I would then just do is take either just a wet wipe or something like that, and then just take any of that excess off, just so that we don't stain it. <laughs> you can see there. Can you do that noise they're doing in the gallery? I, am, I see, I can hear it, but obviously, because I can't mm. see it, so I'm sure, is it, is it just yeah. against the cheek? Yeah. No, I see, I can do it. They're busy. Can do that. <laughs> busy in the gallery today. I can't do that. So they should be passing us important information, but instead, all we can hear is them going, I can't do it. Boink, 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 boink. Uh, good tip and reminder, says Rebecca Hawkins, for me as to how to use the grey around the finished art. I, th I do think that is a great tip and it does really help to highlight whatever does. your colour, doesn't it? And yeah. Lift it off the page. And if you aren't happy with your colouring, let's just say that you're not happy, which you should be, the way you colour and blend, but say that you're not, by going round that black, uh, going round with that grey, what it does is it just pulls and ties it all together. So mm. it's worthwhile doing. So it doesn't matter what you're colouring, whatever I do, whether it is something, well, obviously I don't always do it with a project such as this, where you're cutting emboss, but when it comes to any stamp, I'll always go around with my ice grey too. You can go with some of the darker shades, but I just find that number two, it's just that perfect shade. Certainly once it dries and it goes that little bit subtler, mm. then it just works an absolute treat. So then we are all good to go to start finishing it off. Now, when it comes to, of course, your uh, framework that you've done, you've already cut it to five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So we're going to take our gold satin from our luxury card. Yep. And we're going to cut that to five and a half by five and a half and cut. And then what we're going to do, if you remember the pink square that we got out from that middle layer, we're going to bring that one in, and this one we're going to cut to five and three quarters by five and three quarters. But what I'm going to do, although our blade is relatively new, so it's a nice cream, 
nice, crisp, clean cut. If you find it feather sometimes, which will happen with your V-blade paper trimmer, yeah. it's the nature of the beast because the blade is tearing into the card. What I would then just do, Ben, is just take a slither off one side, take a slither off the other. So that's neatening up these two sides. Then I would cut it to the size that I need, which is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then what we need to do again with our V-blade paper trimmer is we need to come along and we need to cut the center again from both of those so that we can see through when it comes to our image. So within this one, what I'm just going to do, the only thing we need to keep in mind is if I move that one to the side, when it comes to the framework, we've only got maybe about half an inch there and there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come in. What you can do is let's bring in, let's do use our ruler for this one. So if I bring this one in, I'm going to come in at, so if I have a look visually for myself first, then I'll put white underneath. So I'm going to come in with my ruler and that second, so that second line in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that up against the edge of my gold cardstock and then I'm going to gut all the way around. So I'm going to come down and then I'm going to turn it four times and then that's going to get me my framework for my image and then I'm going to do exactly the same with the pink one. So it's the ruler, so it's your metal cutting edge. Oh, uh, cool, so, huh? so the metal cutting edge is on the right hand side and then I'm going one, two lines in and then we're going to cut. So let's just come down leaving a little bit top and bottom because we don't want to cut it off completely. Or if you've got your matte and layer dies, you can use them. Or of course, your, uh, your paper trimmer. It's up to yourself. Hey, Donna Yam is joining us saying hello. I'm just tuning in. That is beautiful, Craig. It is. It's a lovely project. It's been a really fun craft along as this. We've had uh, so much fun um, with the colouring, with the crafting. We've had the chat. We've had some ukulele music mm -hmm. as well. Maybe get a bit more before the, uh, before the end of the show. Um, we've right. organised our vacations. Uh, I mean, it's been a very, very um, jam-packed last hour and 35 minutes. Um, just to say, of course, we're back for cartlo a cartload later. In between times as well, I'll be continuing my uh, takeover of the Instagram channel. I've got a, a video shoot to do. I'm so busy today. <laughs> Come on, sympathy, someone. Any sympathy? I've got another video shoot coming up at quarter past four. Have you? Yeah, quarter past four till quarter to five. It's no for rest for the wicked. Thank you. It's, um, it's for something which is coming up, I think, next week or maybe the week after. Um, so looking forward to, to doing that. Um, and then also, I don't know if you've got time, because I know um, you're obviously having your lunch and that. We've we still got to play Chubby Bunnies. Oh, so we do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there was... Needs Huh? No, there was a reel I wanted to do, but we're not going to have time today. We're going to have to do it next week when we're oh, together. Oh, is that for your Insta? Yeah. Yeah. Was it the... Um... Hello! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's going to have to be next week. Am I in with you next week? I don't know, actually. I'm in... So I'm not in... I'm in Monday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. I am in... Oh, no. So I am... I'm Monday, Tuesday, Friday. Sunday. Wednesday, Thursday with Debbie. Oh, yes, because you're on the different days to me, aren't That's you? That's right. Mm. And then am I in Friday? But... Oh, we're together on Wake oh. Up Call, apparently. Right, we can do it then, then. Because mm. Tuesday night, Tuesday night, if you are in the Gemini Club, mm -hmm. and I noticed uh, the post is out there now, if you're in the Gemini Club on Tuesday night UK time, 8pm here in the UK, I am doing a live in the Gemini Club group mm -hmm. with the Gemini 2 nice. and the foil press. <whistles> so we're going to be using them both together when it comes to the Gemini 2 and the foil press. So if you're in the Gemini Club, that's going to be this Tuesday coming. How long is that for, an hour? <sighs> or as long as it takes? You know what I'm like. Three hours then. You know what I'm like. Possibly four. So yeah, no, it definitely won't be that long because then I'm up early for a full day in here on the Wednesday with Debbie. So, uh, but yes, it's still going to be a good, good wee while. I'm going to go over and show you how your Gemini 2 works an absolute dream, as you would expect, with your foil press. So we're going to do that. We're going to have fun. We're going to, I'm going to show you lots of tips and techniques. 
and just, you know, go back to our foil press. That's, the, that's nice. And enjoy it? it. And if anyone knows the foil press, it's you. Uh, yeah, well, I like to think it do. Is the shirt coming out? Uh, no. no cause it could, because I should say as well, because I'm doing it from my craft room at home. Oh, uh, yes. And it'll just be roasting, so... Uh, no, foil press shirt won't be there, but uh, we'll have fun. Nice. Uh, Rhonda's just said, Ben and Craig, if you ever want to visit the Chicago area, let me know. Chicago, I would love to. Oh, I'd love to. I would love to go and see the thingy house, Home Alone house. Oh, yeah. I'd like to go. Actually, was that even? No, what, uh, no, it is in Chicago, but it wasn't filmed in Chicago, was it? But yeah, I would like to, I would like to go to Chicago. The Windy oh, City. When I, uh, when I went to Florida the last time, I, we stopped crossover at uh, O'Hara Airport. Oh, yeah. In Chicago, but obviously didn't see the city. So what I've done there a moment ago is I've just layered up and then I've popped uh, foam pads or foam on a roll onto the back here. And then what I'm then done is I've gone in, I'm going to restamp that bit in because I've missed the corner there. So I'm just going to come in with my stamping platform. And in actual fact, let's use a little bit that we've got left over of that linen card because it looks lovely to actually stamp onto. Yeah. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to take some of that ink off. And then what we need to do as well, we need to leave enough room for our nested die. I'm going to come in, I'm just double checking that one there. So if you're using our stitched edge nesting die, yep. it's number five from the centre. Okay. So I'm using number five for the white, and then the next one, number six, will be for the pink. And I've got plenty of room there, so let's just line that one up. And then I'm going to go in with my jet black, stamp that one out, and then we're going to, as I say, die cut that one, and then we'll die cut our circle with our pink linen. Add a little bit of glitter glue and then that'll be us. We're going to finish ahead of time, pretty much. I believe so. Um, early bath. Uh, yeah, we're going to Chicago with Rhonda. That's, that's in the diary. Uh, Carol Guy says, are we looking forward to the foil press on Tuesday? Mm-hmm. That'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> the Rachel just says, one thing you've not done with foam on a roll yet is organised it uh, in a round. Uh, maybe we do the end of the show with, uh, with Ron. In the key of... In a round. In a know? round? Yeah, like... Um, what was the song? <laughs> Corinne's going, no, no. no. Um, what was it? You know, like in a round, like... Um, name a song that you sing in a round. In a, what do you mean in a round? Where some, no, not in a group, where someone starts off... And then, and then someone, oh, the, like, um, that, yes, Michael, row your boat ashore. You sing that in a round. So someone goes, Michael, row your boat ashore. And then someone else goes, Michael, row your boat ashore. And then, yeah, and then by the end, you're all singing different bits, but it, it, it fits. We, we, won't, uh, we won't do that. that. See, that would just put me off straight away. Yeah, maybe for another day. Maybe. Yeah. I need practice at stuff like that. <laughs> Big practice. I'm fine with the first verse, but then as soon as you come in again... Oh, then you'll... Then that just throws me... Trip over. Yeah. 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 But then then launch through. Incidentally, these ones would actually go through your Gemini Mini. And what we will do, actually, is we'll use the Gemini Mini for the little corners. I forgot we've got to add them ones on. And then the only other thing that I am going to do. If I bring this back in before we assemble it, Ben, I've got... Uh, now, you can use any glitter. I'm just using some glitter glue that we've got, some of our uh, stickles. So all that I'm going to do is, just within the highlights of the florals, I'm just going to go in and we're just going to colour that in. Alternatively, I'm doing this as a little bit of ease, but you could be using your your clear glitters, your chunky glitters, with either your tacky glue or your stay sticky pen. But we're just going to go in and then I'm just going to essentially colour that in all the way around. Not that it's a race, but I feel like Corinne's beating you. She's beating me, she's going for it. <laughs> Good I feel on like, her. I feel, I feel like she's packing her bag ready for the beach. <laughs> she's just right ahead of the beach. A few hours sleep first. Ah. Oh. Hide it, hide it, he's not looking. Hide it, Corinne. That's it, hide it, he's, yeah, Ah. Oh. 
She's done you, she's done you a little something in there, Craig. Oh, has she? Yeah, show you at the end. Oh, that's so I've lovely. got a little something for Curran as well before the end of the show. The plane ticket. <laughs> My house keys, Johnny just said. No. <laughs> no, just uh, a little, something a little birdie's, uh, little birdie's told me. I don't know which is, uh, which is going on. Oh. Don't say too much. I hope my in informant is correct, because if, uh, if the informant is incorrect, what I'm going to be doing before the end of the show will be rather hilarious. I'm intrigued. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, stay tuned, Craig. What do you mean? Stay, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay Craig, don't go anywhere. Stay with us. I <laughs> am going nowhere. <laughs> don't worry, I won't walk off again. Let's go. Can we, um, I think, is Curran actually finished? I think, have you finished? Oh, she has finished. She has. That, that has got to be a, uh, a first, I think, for our, um, for our guest to finish before the, uh, for our guest to finish before the end of the actual show. We, we have got 15 minutes to finish, fill at the end of the show, whether or not we, <laughs> we get uh, Ron to do a mini <laughs> concert or what, I don't know. <laughs> I hope you've got enough songs, you're on, you're on. <laughs> we, we can always finish run a bit early, right, guys? Run to the, run to the stage, please. <laughs> you're on. Have we had the best time at this craft it's long been, or what? It's just been... I've, I've really enjoyed this. A great craft. It's been one of my favourites. absolutely loved this one. So I'm just going to line that one up. Then let's take our... Let's take my mini here uh -huh. and then let's go in with the frame so let's go in with the metal cut and dies which is from the topaz and then we're just going to die cut so the only thing we need to do ben is we'll add our bow and then within this gold we're going to cut four of these for each corner add the bow and that's it uh, can I just say as well, thank you uh, for all of the lovely comments coming through thank you for all of the holiday suggestions this is the latest one uh, Tracy this is our Tracy, our Tracy, this is me, you all are. Our Tracy in um, Wakefield, of course, from, uh, who has family in South Africa. I think this is you, Tracy, I'm assuming it's you. If you guys fancy a safari in South Africa, pay for your ticket and I will arrange free accommodation on a four-star lodge in South Africa. Done. There, that's Tracy. Yeah, pay for your ticket and I'll arrange free accommodation on a four-star lodge in South Africa. They were got in a lodge. Yeah, because her dad works on a, um, on a safari. Uh, which one was it? You have to remind me. But yes, thank you, Tracy. I don't oh, think. I mean, busy. There's anything so tempting. What? That. The safari? Oh. Ha, oh, amazing. I'd love to go on safari. So would, so would I. I would yeah. absolutely love that. Beat going to like Woburn Safari Park, wouldn't it? You just mm -hmm. drive through there and just get the monkeys jumping on your car and ripping off your aerial. Uh, that's about yeah, I did, I, yeah, I didn't get that in uh, Animal Kingdom in Florida. <laughs> oh dear. So, so we're off to South Africa, Hawaii, New York, Chicago, Vegas. Uh, oh yeah, LA with Amy. Yeah, done Hawaii. Hawaii. Um, thanks everybody. We'll uh, we'll start to organise this <laughs> after the show. If only I didn't have a video shoot to do straight after the show. Never mind. Straight onto the, the, the flights. You should, you should maybe check with Laura first. I suppose I'd have to take her. I'd have to take, I'd take her with me on at least one, at least one of the, <laughs> at least one of the holidays. Oh, do you remember I? that show? What's that? They've just said in my ear, why swap? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did, Johnny, yeah, because it used to be showing uh, why swap in America. It used to be showing on uh, Channel 4. Can you imagine? We'll just do the house swap. Yeah, I think that's probably, probably, <laughs> probably um, for the best. Can I just ask, uh, if you've already said I apologise, those little embellishments you're putting on, are they from the latest launch? Yes, that's from the latest one. So this one, is, it's from the, the topaz. So it's just the corner, and I've just done that one four times for, the, for each corner. Yeah. Oh, north central Massachusetts with um, there. Suzanne. Very pretty in the fall, apparently. So we've got, we'll go there in the autumn. I'm sure Susie's invited us down to New Orleans as well, hasn't she? She, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Another place I'd like to go. 
Very central. We might have to space these out over the next few years because I don't think I've got enough holiday days left to take all of these yeah, breaks that's this the other year. Thing generous you with holidays holiday here, but not that generous. And also the problem that you and I would have, of course, as I know we do together. shows together like this, but if I'm not here, more often than not, you're this side, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So I doubt they'd let us off... Uh, together. You know, a, a, long, a long time together. Well, but, we you need know. to do Vegas together and the safari together. Yes. Yeah, that's a definite. Definitely, we could we could go and like we could go there and then we could beam back in and do some little crafting shows on safari. In the middle of safari, you Call know, crafting in. shows live from the craps table. Yeah, you know, what? craps. They play craps, don't they? Oh, all oh, oh, right. That's not what I thought you said. Yeah. What? We'll go and ask the bosses. Um, look at this, by the way. There we go. Come on. So that was the one that Linda so beautifully done for me. And in that time period, I am pretty chuffed, <laughs> someone else there, with how that looks in the time period. I, I, am, I love that so much. And the fact, again, that you've um, got it done so swiftly uh, in that time. Um, it's a gorgeous project. Shall I just quickly show you the boards again? And then we'll go and see how... Um, Corinne's got one because I know she's finished. Um, but yeah, if you want to be able to um, create the project you've just seen, and indeed if you just love the look of these, uh, they are av available as the bundle. 40% you're saving here. Uh, you've got four by six and five by five sizes. Um, what I would say as well, if you can't stretch to the full deal today, I mean, it is an incredible deal. It's a 40% saving, less your discount then within Club Inspire. So 40% less 20% if you're platinum. If you can't stretch to the full bundle today, you can pick and choose your favorites from these. So uh, if I show you that one there, that is the Fragrant Magnolias. You've got your four by sixes. This one is the uh, Winter Rose. You have got the beautiful Peony Blooms. This one is the beautiful Blossom. And then the final two, that I think is potentially my favorite, the Dancing Daffodils. And then of course, uh, the Forget Me Nots. Forty-nine pounds eighty-eight, fifty-seven forty-one. Uh, Brenda K. Taxwell says, "Beautiful, Craig. I would hang that on my wall. So pretty. Oh, that is, by the way, default, of course, demo of the show. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll have to do vote for demo of the day. Oh, we could do it now." Actually, we'll do it now. Where is the other one? It's there. Uh, Cheryl says, Craig, that is a beautiful project. So fun to see our goodies used in other fun ways. Thank you so much. Oh, and Tracy, about the uh, South Africa safari. safari. It's uh, Pelainsburg National Park and Bakabung Bush Lodge. Uh, have a Google to see if you fancy it, Ben and Craig. I fancy it already. I, I don't do. even need, need to Google. Uh, we're there. Johnny's booking the flights as we speak. Um, do you want to just show us your project again, Craig, and then we'll do the vote for mm -hmm. demo of the show, because I'm going to need to nip over here and pick yours up. So, Craig, uh, this is going to be number two in the vote, all right? Okay, doc, there we go. So, number two that we've just done there on the craft along there, so that could have easily have been onto six, well, six by six, seven by seven card blank, or eight by eight, but we've popped it into an eight by eight boxed frame. That is up to you if you do that or not, but there you go. Here's your box frame. That was number two. Yeah. And then Craig's project from earlier on, again, using the floral frame cut and embossing folders, that is number one. So one for this one, two for the project uh, that you've just made. Let us see how um, Corinne has got on. I know, she, I think she finished about 15 minutes ago. I think the speediest guest we've ever had. <laughs> I think so. Yes, I did finish. And I actually made an extra one, which you saw. So yeah. Surprise for Craig, because I wasn't he was coming back. Yeah. But, Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Incredible, absolutely beautiful. And I made the frame and mm. I used different things for the corners. Yeah, I love it. I wanted a little more fruitful, worldly look to it. Whoa. <laughs> that is absolutely what are the embellishments? Is that a, is a shoe lipstick? Nail polish. A, Cosmetic case, shoe, and lipstick. That's so cool. That is incredible. Isn't it just? Yeah. Isn't it just? I love that, that so much. And this was for Craig go, that Craig. I made on the fly while I was waiting. Oh, bless you. Oh, that's really kind of you. Thank <laughs> you. That's so lovely of you. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. What a thoughtful You're thought. Welcome. Thank you. I will. Um, I'll pick that up when I uh, when I pop over. <laughs> Leave it on the mantelpiece. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. uh, have you have you enjoyed it today? 
Absolutely, this was a blast. Oh, thank you. Um, now, now I know, I know, uh, I know, uh, I know. Of course, uh, I did say I wasn't going to play. I know about three chords, but little birdie tells me, "Happy birthday to you for tomorrow." <laughs> Happy birthday in, in C. I'm playing in C. Happy. Well, do, are you ready, Ron? Yep. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Karen. Happy birthday to you. Nice one. Thank you. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Mahalo. Ah, oh, have you got any special plans, or is Ron keeping it all on the QT? No, or I think we're going to go out to dinner and drinks and whatever else we decide to do. And what's the plan now? Because obviously, what time have you got there now? Is it five? Just going on five a.m. And the other thing with my birthday is. 38 years ago, on my 21st birthday, is when I met him. Oh, you guys. That is the cutest. Yeah. So you're so going to have a really special, special day. Yes. <laughs> uh, what, have you, what have you got planned for the rest of the day, then? Are you, are you, are you napping now, or are you just uh, out and about? <laughs> Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> and then beach? Yes. Sure. Um. <laughs> But listen, thank you so much. We, I, honestly, I think it's one, been one of my favourite craft alongs yeah, that yep. we have ever done. Um, such wonderful guests. Great to meet you too, Ron, and thank you for playing the Ute for us. That was amazing. Brilliant. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Great. Hey, have a great day. Um, enjoy your nap Absolutely. and um, aloha. <laughs> aloha. <laughs> See you guys. See you later. Oh, how much fun that was, was that? brilliant. Seriously, I love that so much. Uh, we've had some great craft alongs recently, and that is right up there uh, with one of the very, very best. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And, uh, and again, a massive thank you to um, Ron and Corinne there, because mm -hmm. getting up at like three in the morning. Great sport. You've got to be keen. We haven't got that. I mean, Corinne didn't go to bed. Ron had a bit of a nap, you know, but <laughs> I would have done that as well. But thank you so much. And it just shows, doesn't it, how great our crafty community is, uh, how much you guys love these craft alongs, and why you should get involved as well. If you've never done one before, come and have a go. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, hopefully... Uh, but nine times out of ten, we're good fun to be with. Uh, but listen, you know, you don't have to be uh, you know, the best crafter in the world. And Corinne obviously saying she's been crafting for, for quite some time. But even if you've only just started, like Hannah did the other week, only crafting since February, come in, have a go, have a laugh with us. Um, we thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy crafting along with you. And keep an eye on the socials because we all, are always now popping up the dates for the future craft alongs uh, so that you can come along and um, join in with us. Book your place on one because I know they're getting very, very popular. Thank you, mister. That was um, brilliant. Thank you. That was, I really did enjoy that one you know as you said you know we have such fun and enjoyable craft alongs that you know so many of them I do enjoy but there's just something about this one as well I think it's quite a spectacular project that Linda had done for me and for all of you as well so thank you so much Linda but it was a lovely slow plate slow paced colouring project to do with something quite substantial at the end of it and of course having Curran as well and her husband Absolutely brilliant. Um, Rhonda Crowley says, that was the most fun show ever. Yes. yes. It was fantastic. Um, no surprise for demo of the day. One. Number one. No, two. <laughs> <laughs> That's number incredible. There you go. Number two. So once again, thank you very much, Linda. Linda Fitzsimmons and our team, she'd done that one for me just to allow me a few extra days back home in Scotland last week. So thank you so much, Linda. I really, really appreciate it. If you want to print out all the steps and that, they're there on my Facebook that you can go copy, paste, replicate, do whatever you want, take them from there, and then you can make it again as many times as you want. Amazing. What a show. So much fun. We're going to take a, a little break now. We're back in a couple of hours' time for what's going to be a mega cartload, uh, Ben 3.0, uh, with amazing deals, which are all live now, because I know a few of you always go, oh, are there going to be any like price drops? Everything is there. There'll be no surprises. So if you want to get in now and shop the deals before we get to the show, uh, you can do so uh, with confidence. But so many great deals to be had. And those boosters as well tonight are going to help get you up through the uh, layers, get you closer towards platinum, save even more money. So a massive thank you to everybody. We 
we've had the most fun. Uh, if you're on the socials, I'll see you over on the um, Crafters TV Instagram page as the uh, takeover continues, and we'll be back together for what is going to be an amazing show. Do you know what? Literally, like, right. I've got about two minutes left of the show. <laughs> Sam, who's doing the filming with me, he's, he's up and down the corridor. I haven't finished yet. I've still got another two minutes and it's quarter past four anyway. He I'm going to have a cup of tea in. first. What is he like? He's not coming. Well, he's coming in. I don't think he's going to come on. He's still on air. What? He's oh. hovering. I thought you were hovering at. Oh, really? Oh, I'm going to have a first a little cup of... A what? Cup of tea. Is it cup of tea. That's not a cup of tea. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no tea. Go away. Anyway, that's when you're going to be having on Hawaiian Beach. Thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll see you in two hours. Until then, bye for now. Toodle.